Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. Still recording. S still in the session hey, here. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? <coughs> Center of the drawing. <laughs> I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot. <coughs> Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. <laughs> and if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those <laughs> brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... A uh, pretty thick beard. That's true. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. <coughs> I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just, you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> this seems nice. I like this. <coughs> I don't mind this IRL. God, though. I like, you know, guys, I like bugs and all, but being out here without any of the bugs would be amazing. I'm not a fan of them getting on me because they carry diseases half the time, but I, I think they're interesting. I would love to see research on them and see all the types of species and learn all the types of species. That'd really be amazing. I have three pieces of wood, so... <coughs> I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Uh, let me take a look at things. Hmm. There's that. <laughs> Stove. Where do I get my food from? Oil soap. Ooh. <coughs> let me put this back. Yeah. This looks like a cozy little retreat. Ah. Look at that smiley face. I'm ready. Hey, buddy. Is it okay for him to be in that little thing? Does he need food? I'm guessing I'll feed him. I, considering he's still alive. Be free. Oh! Oh. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I want to see if I, I got any more little talks. I know. He's fine though. Photo with Julia. 
Uh, hello? Oh, Lord, that's, that's messed up. Come on. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lord. Uh, the clock in here is broken. Whoa, the clock in here is broken. How are we supposed to report the time? I don't even know. <laughs> Do you think anyone knows what time it is? Are all the clocks broken? <laughs> you are the worst. Fire bucket, yay! I never really looked up before. Huh. Okay. Okay. I think <coughs> I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. <coughs> it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Yeah. Day nine, jeez. Six days of doing nothing? Good lord. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Must be nice to be able to, like, eat. Well, uh, <laughs> that sounds strange. Like, eat a lot, I guess. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Chelsea Stevens and Billy <coughs> McLean were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got up and won't let me sit down. Oh, Lord. So 12 days without nothing, really. Henry, <sighs> Henry, wake up. Oh, I was sleeping. <coughs> Get out of bed and pick up the radio. <coughs> I'm not gonna turn the lights on. The same sketch. Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Oh. Mm, I am. <laughs> Sure. Are you? Everything good there? <coughs> Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah. This must be a dream. She doesn't really remember me. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah uh -huh. seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Wait, th was that really her? And, and wow, 30 days have passed. Jeez, 30 days of nothing! Ah. <coughs> Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> oh. 
Delilah seems to be the most messed up here. Well, my wife did have dementia at 41. So, like, two weeks ago, <coughs> you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay. Oh. You know, when it comes to her. Oh. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Of course. Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. <laughs> he was a driller down in Casper. <coughs> what do you drill? Almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working at Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Aww. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. <coughs> so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, technically I didn't fuck up because, well, my wife has dementia at 41. <laughs> Um, I think I'm still in shock from that. 60 feet. CO4. Ah, this is the green supply box. Hey. This is wrong, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I love loot, though. Oh, she knows! Oh. She knows! Oh, I can't help it. I love loot. Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? No. I mean, I don't... Uh, I'm hungry. So, you did. Oh. I gotta go. Oh, crap. Oh Lord! Ah, oh, so many days have passed now. Well, front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. Risque. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. I feel like no, they're flirting or something. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's <coughs> fly. I like it. <laughs> so there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Yeah. 
if oh. I was there with <coughs> you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, that was a really bad move. I, I don't. That that doesn't define who I am, guys. <coughs> it's a game, but it doesn't give me the option to. I don't. F uh. Thing is, with uh, Julia, she has dementia. I well, I probably would support her, but I've never been in a situation like that. In my opinion, right now, you know, I'm gonna stop talking. Looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just <coughs> get lost. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... We're just friends. It's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. We have these radios. <coughs> You know what? What? <coughs> what do we do? Well, let me tell you. Uh, so much for just, uh, friends. <laughs> I'm s oh, Lord! <laughs> eh. Going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could. <coughs> you see, Julia would definitely wouldn't be my style. She seems like... She, oh, well, she's Australian accent, as you can tell. But I'm into someone who's very clear my very healthy, very muscular woman. Like, able to bench press t 200 pounds at least. Very, and Mary, like, not like super muscle woman, just, you know, decent. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the, uh, it's, holy <coughs> shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on, something's out here. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. Oh. Uh. found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. <gasps> oh my god. Dad just get killed. Oh my god. Henry? Are you there? <coughs> what happened, Henry? I... I just... I got 
got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, <laughs> along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just, oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get angry at you. Crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, <coughs> four, or five <laughs> weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Eh, yeah, let me reply. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable <coughs> explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? It looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake towards the west. Thanks, D. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. North shore of Jonesy Lake. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. <coughs> I was thinking I might be going the wrong way. Let me speak to her. I should have chosen a shorter option. Oh, man. So now it's a uh, running sim. Uh, my bad. Chalking. All the way back. To the right then. <coughs> and that would be going down there. That's fine. That would be a perfect location. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Don't mind me, my legs are just going through the rock itself, I, I think. Hey, look at that. Interesting, but hold on guys, I'm going to have to stop the episode for today. Hope you guys have been enjoying the story so far. Looks like we got a mystery on our hands. And we gotta solve it. I'll catch you guys later.